In this video, let us see the eBox Electronic Courses and its structure. Open the latest versions of Google Chrome or Firefox browser and type in the URL e-box.co.in. Now click on login and type in the login credentials. You will now land in the eBox homepage where you will be displayed with the courses that you are enrolled to. Now let us get into one of the electronic courses and explore the different sections in the course. Each course will be organized into one or more modules or topics. Each topic is further structured with four level hierarchy namely I learn, I explore, I design and I assess. Now let us see in detail about these sections. The first one is the iLearn section. iLearn is an e-learning component where there are pre-read content, study guides, quizzes and exclusive learning videos and web resources. In web resources, you will have open source learning resources that will help you gain a deep understanding on the topic. To go back to the previous page, click on the down arrow and click go to course. The next one is the learning resources. In learning resources, you will have exclusive learning videos prepared by the eBox team. The next one is the I explore. This session consists of questions designed to help you self-assess your comprehension of the information presented on the topics covered in the module. At any point during the quiz, you can view a summary of your quiz in the sidebar. Questions you have answered will be identified by a check mark while the unanswered questions will be identified by an unchecked mark. The next one is the I design section. In I design, you will be given problems such as digital system design, logic gates, k maps, sequential circuits, combinational circuits, and so on. Mm -hmm. Let us try to answer this question. To the left side, you will have the problem statement. So in this question, first you need to mark the nature of the variable. Once you are done, click on submit. So it says we have entered a wrong combination. So we need to try with a new combination. Now the truth table variables are submitted successfully. You need to now continue with the truth table. Once you are done, click on submit. You have now successfully completed the truth table. You need to now design the circuit. For that, click on 
Open Circuit Editor. You would get a new window with an editor to draw the circuit. Once you are done with the editor, click on Simulate. Once you are done with the simulation, you can close the window. The last section is the ISS section. These are practice assessments created at topic level within a skin and it can be attempted any number of times within a time duration. These are the different sections that are made available in each course and we hope this demo video eases you in learning. Thank you.